DaVinci Resolve 18.5 is awesome here, guys. There are so many awesome updates that I keep finding here as I'm going through the program and checking out all the new stuff. I'll be sharing a lot of it with you here on the channel, but today we're talking about a new AI tool that is gonna help us take our sound effects, our music, dialogue, our audio, and classify it into what type of audio is it, and then it's gonna further put it into smart bins so that way we can say, hey, I want an animal sound, I want an insect, boom, we can go to that smart bin, grab that sound, and we don't have to hunt through tons of files to find it. It's a really cool and easy feature to use here in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. It is only available in the studio version though, so keep that in mind. If you don't have studio, you're not gonna be able to use this tool in the free version, but it just gives you another reason to upgrade to studio, honestly. If you're not on studio yet, you gotta jump on there. But if you're like me and you do have tons of sound effects and music and you just have it in a big pile in a big folder, right? Cause that's what I do, everything's in one spot. We're gonna use this new tool to sort everything out. Today's video is sponsored by Motion Array and I did grab all of these sound effects and music files from Motion Array. If you haven't checked them out, go sign up for a free account. You can get a lot of cool freebies on there from music to audio, to sound effects, to overlays, templates, text. There is a ton of great stuff on there. Photos, stock video, motion graphics, tons of awesome stuff on Motion Array. I've been using them for a long time and I used the free version for a long time too, the free account. So if you want some free assets, jump on Motion Array, sign up for a free account. Link is in the description below. If you wanna sign up and have full access to everything, you save a few dollars by doing that. But a big thank you to Motion Array for providing all these assets that I'm gonna show you how DaVinci Resolve can sort it all out for us. So let's just jump into Resolve and I'll show you how it works. Jumping into DaVinci Resolve here, we want to be in the media tab right here. So jump into the media tab. Now there's a few ways that you can work with the AI here to have it uh, automatically categorize and sort your clips. One way is to grab all of your sound effects and bring it into your media pool. So you can see right here is my media pool and I currently don't have anything in my project. So I can go through, grab all of my sound effects and drop them into the media pool and then do it that way. But the way I'm actually gonna do it is to use my power bins that I have already set up. So for example, I have a power bin here that has sound effects in it and inside there is all of my motion array sound effects. And I put it in a power bin just so I can access it quickly and easily in every single project. So here are all of the sound effects I have from Motion Array. Now, in order to have Resolve use the AI to classify these and sort them for us, what you want to do is select the clips that you want to have Resolve analyze. So I'm just going to click, hold, and drag a window over a couple of these guys here. And maybe we'll do three rows worth. And once they're selected, you can right-click on any one of them, come down to Audio Classification, and you can analyze. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit analyze. Resolve is gonna bring up this analyze window. It's gonna do its thing, and then I'll show you how it classifies them and puts them into smart bins for us. It doesn't take long for Resolve to do this. A lapse time here is like a couple, 10 seconds maybe, that it just went through 33 clips. So now, for example, if I select one clip and I come over here in our uh, metadata section, just turn off these audio here, and we scroll down in the metadata section, we'll get to a part that tells us right here, category. Now you can change this. Sometimes Resolve will get it wrong, I'm sure, but most of the time it's pretty good. Click effect, we have uncategorized dialogue, effect, music, and silence. So this was classified as an effect. So the category is automatically set for you right here in the metadata. So if you want to further break down what the effects are into the different categories, you actually have to bring your effects into your project. So let's bring in those effects that we just classified, right? I'm gonna, again, select the first three rows here, and I'm just gonna drag and drop them into my master bin that's part of this specific project. Drag, drop it in. So once I have the sound effects classified and actually bring them into a project, Resolve will attempt to further break them down into, uh, you know, a little bit more specific categories in the smart bins so that we kind of know what they are. Now, in this example here, I found that, you know, it was able to sort a couple of the sound effects, but not a ton of them. And I imagine as we move forward and maybe when the full release comes out, the AI is going to get better and better at recognizing what our different sound effects and audio are. So that way you can just do a better job of specifically sorting them into different categories. But if we look down in our smart bins here, you can see we have... Uh, video clips, audio clips, dialogue, music, effects, and uncategorized. So if I click on the effects, it did get the major categories, right? The effects, right? Into its own smart bin here, which worked out good, as well as the music. It did a good job with that. Now, when it gets to the subcategories of further breaking it down, if I click on the top subcategories here, you can see only about five of them was it able to put into separate bins. And I think it's just because of the type of sound effects I was using. Um, if you have something that's more obvious, you know, an animal or, uh, you know, people or things like that, the AI is going to have an easier job of sorting them out for you. 
But I think in time, it's probably going to get so good that it can probably do everything. And we'll get there, I'm sure. But for now, you can see it sorted a few of them. And if you just click through the different categories, you can see the sound effects that I put in there for you. But I really like how I can just have everything mashed in one folder. And at least it's going to sort it by the music, the effects, and the dialogue for me. That's huge off the bat. And being able to break it down into the smaller categories in time as it gets better and better is going to be an awesome feature here too that I'm really excited and looking forward to because it's just going to save me some time when I'm looking for specific effects. The AI tools here in DaVinci Resolve are awesome guys from voice isolation to subtitles to transcription to now sorting out our audio effects and being able to classify them for us. AI is just making the job a whole lot easier for us and helping take care of some of those things that, uh, let's be honest, we want to focus on the creative, right? We want to make awesome videos. I might not want to spend the time sorting out my effects into different categories, right? So Resolve can do that for us now. Black Magic Design, thank you guys for throwing that in there. What a cool feature here. Super excited about all of the other awesome updates here in 18.5. There's going to be more videos about that stuff coming up here as we move forward. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.